How can I open a simple file dialog for my user from my Access application so that users can choose a file? I'm your host, Sean McKenzie, and today we're going to take a look at how to use the file dialog in Microsoft Access so that users can pick a file, they can pick multiple files, and you can uh, select all of those and use them in your program. So without further ado, let's get to it. You a programmer looking for your next gig? Make sure to check out the additional links in the description. Okay, so for this demonstration, I'm going to be using uh, our same file we've been using, uh, this access data file, and I've filtered the, the list on the left to dialog because we're going to make a, a form and it's going to have the name dialog in it, so that'll separate it out. So we just see that in our all access objects list there. And I've uh, created a new form in design view, and I'm just going to drop a simple uh, text box control onto my form, and I'm going to uh, put the the name file in the label there, and then uh, I'm going to give this file um, the name txt file, and uh, and then uh, we can go ahead and grab another control uh, for a button and our button is going to launch our file dialog just to demonstrate for you guys you can uh, just cancel the wizard if it comes up there and uh, I'll put some text in the uh, caption here I'll just say get file for this demonstration and now you can see if I select that button and I go to the other tab in the properties I can give it a descriptive name and I'll call it CMD file uh, for command button and now we have a file and we have a text box which we can use to display our file selection after we use the file dialog and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to that uh, event tab in our button properties there and we're gonna use this on click event and click on the ellipsis uh, to give us a choice. We'll choose the code builder and go OK. And then that's going to pop up our code window uh, in our IDE. And uh, we can uh, use this uh, event that was created automatically, um, which is called CMD file underscore click. And that's going to take the event of the button click uh, and it's going to fire some code off uh, when that happens. And so we can continue. Now, it's very, very simple to use the file dialog uh, in Microsoft Access. There's many selections for the type you can use. See these ones that are open here. And you can pick a file or you can pick a folder uh, or you can pick a save as. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, pick a file and that's going to give us our file name uh, with uh, the, the application.file dialog. And so we can go uh, dot show, and then that's going to cause the file dialog to show itself so the user can pick, pick uh, you know, a value in there. And then uh, what we're going to do is uh, after they pick it and go OK, we're going to use that uh, me uh, txt file equals the selected items, and we'll grab the uh, the first item in there, which is uh, the selection is one, and so we put that in brackets at the end, and that's really all you need to get one file a name from the user. So if I click get file on there, you can see this uh, dialog pops up, and it's got an OK and cancel there. I guess it was bigger than the size of this recording window here but if I double click on the file to grab to grab it or if I click on it and then go OK you can see it gets the the full path of that file and returns it to me so I can use that in my program so I could you know application dot you know follow hyperlink and that would actually uh, cause this the operating system to open that file or I could just store it somewhere and what I've done here is I've just dragged another file in. So here's a little, a little diagram that we used in a previous episode, and I've dragged that into the same folder. And so now what I can do is I can open that. If I 
click on that, I can, you know, click query diagram and then there I'll, I'll resize this so you can actually see the window here. Sorry about that previous one. And I can go OK and you can see now it grabbed query diagram dot PNG. And, you know, so I could grab either of those files and then I can, you know, ask the system to open it or I can copy it somewhere or whatever your program needs to do. Uh, you can do that. And so um, that's a very nice, uh, handy way to get a file path. And as you can see there, you could also choose the folder picker and get the folder. And uh, that's what we'll do here. So I've picked the MSO file dialog folder picker. And that's really all I've switched in my code there uh, from the file picker. And now if I click get file, you can see that the um, it allows me to go and you know select a folder in there. Now I've already got this one selected, uh, but you can see that the if I choose OK, you can see that it uh, it grabbed the access folder from my desktop and it returned that path. And so you could ask Windows to follow that path or you know those kinds of things in your code um, and and that's a very very handy thing or maybe you want to store that path in your in your uh, program somewhere in a table uh, as a configuration or whatever um, and that's very very handy but what if I wanted to grab multiple files at once or you know select two or three files at the same time so that I could store all of those values or act on them or whatever and we can do that by uh, uh, sort of will set uh, files uh, variable there a long integer and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change back to the file picker and what we're going to do is we're going to add a line here and we're going to say dot allow multi select equals true uh, before our show dot show um, line and then after uh, the dot show line uh, we're going to uh, loop through our um, our files. We're going to say uh, for files equals one two dot selected items dot count. And what that's going to do is it's going to go through each of the selections inside of the file picker, and we can do something with that. And so we're going to remove our line uh, where we're putting uh, the value into our text box, and we're just going to show. A message box for each of those so we don't have to cram a whole bunch of you know things into that little text box on the full on the on the form and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go message box box dot selected items long files and so that's going to uh, basically uh, return that value uh, for each of the selections and uh, and give us a text box so if I go get file and I have my uh, file dialog here. If I select one file and I go OK, then it gives me one message box. But if I, you know, control click on each of those and it adds both of them, see how it adds them into the file name here? That's two selections and it's going to give me a message box for each of those and I can use those paths in my program or open files or whatever. Looking for additional material and cool stuff? Make sure to check out my Patreon, the link is in the description.